So I just wanted to show a video of induction of anesthesia to follow up from our video showing the monitoring of anesthesia during an operation. This is a patient uh, ready for anesthetizing. I'm just going to pause the video a second to point out a few specific things that are going on here. So firstly the room that we're in at Peyton and Lee our induction area, operating area and recovering area are all in the same room. Many hospitals have a different system where they have a specific induction box and then a hoist system that picks the horses up and moves them into the operating theatre. Um, the floor in our operating theatre is rubberized and soft and padded and the walls are very thick and padded. On the morning of this operation, we will have given this horse a pre-operative check, which involves a full clinical examination and assessment of the heart and lungs most specifically. Everything has checked out absolutely fine, so this is a horse is a normal risk for anaesthesia. And we'll have given all of our pre-medications. So one of the drugs we give is called ACP. Uh, we give that as a cardioprotectant and also as a mild calmer, just to keep the horses nice and calm. We give that at least half an hour before anaesthesia. And we've also given any antibiotics and anti-inflammatory painkillers required preoperatively so that they're in the system before any surgery begins. We've then positioned the horse very specifically in our induction area. So the horse has its right side up against the padded wall. It has a wide based stance with the hind legs square and wide apart and its bum is near to the corner and the back wall because what we're aiming to do is get the horse to sit down nice and gently into the corner uh, so that everything is nice and controlled as the anaesthetic is induced. Charlotte's going to give the actual anaesthetic agent now um, before this, five minutes ago, we gave uh, quite a large dose of sedation called remifidine. It's an alpha-2 type sedative that we very commonly use in practice. Uh, so we've given a dose of remifidine. And now Cassie Toy, our registered equine veterinary nurse, is going to stand quietly by the hind quarters of the horse. And she may just need to apply some pressure onto the point of the hip of the horse to encourage it to slide down the far wall and gently onto uh, its bottom. Charlotte, our anaesthetist, is holding onto the head of the horse and there is a padded head collar so that um, as the horse is anaesthetized it can't damage itself with the head collar straps. You'll see the horse just starting to feel the effects of the induction agent now which is ketamine alongside diazepam or Valium and the horse sits down and then rolls onto the side and that's a nice gentle induction nice and safe and now we want to check the horse's pulse check that everything's still fine check the horse's colour there on the mucous membranes and then we're going to put an endotracheal tube into the horse's trachea so we use a block wedge just to open up the mouth just to act as a gag um, and then Charlotte will take the horse's tongue and retract it and extend the horse's neck and then gently guide the endotracheal tube between the teeth towards the back of the horse's throat and then just gently find the open airway in order to pass the endotracheal tube beyond the larynx and down into the trachea. You don't need to force this, you'll see when it goes, it goes very smoothly down. Um, and then we just get a nurse to uh, push on the chest to ensure we're absolutely sure that the endotracheal tube is down the trachea. Um, and then we apply our anaesthetic machine with a volatile agent that will keep this patient anaesthetized throughout the operation. You can see the horse is now unconscious. Um, Charlotte's inflating a cuff on the endotracheal tube and uh, then just listening to make sure the endotracheal tube is properly in place before any further assessments of the patient are made. 